Hi, she was seven. So today's topic is what I like to call breakup season and cuffing season. Okay, so it is the end of October, meaning the holidays are approaching and fast, okay? There's gonna be two things happening right now. A lot of breakups because they don't want to bring you around their family. They don't want to make the relationship that serious and they don't want to buy you any gifts. So they're breaking up with you now, okay? Or very soon, in the weeks to come. Probably before Thanksgiving, okay? If you make it to Thanksgiving, you get broken up with near Christmas. Well, at least you made it to Thanksgiving. Okay, so ladies, a lot of men will date a woman casually and she might think he's getting serious and he'll date her till around the holidays. Because the holidays is what makes things pretty much official and then you have to spend a lot of money on a gift or you know, you have to at least meet family members or do this and that. So if they're not trying to get serious about you and if they're not, you know, wanting to spend any money on a Christmas gift for you and they seem to start getting distant around this time. Well, they're getting ready to break up with you. So let me tell y'all how to flip the script. Okay, break up with them first. If you start to see the signs that they're, that they're um, trying to hint to a breakup, break up with them first. And if they really weren't gonna break up with you, they will be sad and they will try to get you back, okay? But usually you'll know if they're getting ready to break up with you. They'll stop answering their phones, they'll seem more distant, they will um, start ignoring your texts and things will just seem a lot different, okay? They're not going to be talking about like future plans or anything and plus ask them about the holidays like oh what are we going to do on Thanksgiving or what are we going to do on Christmas what do you want to do for Christmas and if they stop talking and start looking worried and like stuff like that that's one of the signs so if you're getting all the signs I'm not saying jump in and go break up I'm saying if you've gotten like about five signs that you're about to get dumped dump them first don't wait for them to dump you dump you dump them first and if they really weren't gonna dump you, then they'll be begging for you back, okay? Um, and Or you can just say, let's take a break. That way, they feel like uh, either A, you have someone else, B, you don't want them to be introduced to your family, or C, they might be, you know, a side dude and you're, you know, you gotta spend the holiday with your real man. <laughs> I don't know. Some people do that. Okay, so that's my advice for that and I have another um, another little tidbit to add in there okay cuffing season is where people start feeling lonely around this time so they rush to get a girlfriend or a boyfriend because they don't want to spend the holidays alone and they want someone to buy a gift for and they want someone to spend time with and they want someone to have a, a you know Thanksgiving dinner with and all that kind of stuff so ladies this is a good time to actually meet a guy who's not afraid of commitment who is not afraid to spend money, who, who is not afraid to buy gifts. So if you meet anybody in this holiday season, you're probably going to meet someone who is kind of worth giving a shot to because they're not afraid of the commitment part. They're not afraid to meet family members around the holidays. They're not afraid to exchange gifts. They're not afraid to do any of that because obviously if they're hooking up with you and you know starting to date you around the holidays, they're going to be expected to at least get you some type of small gift or gift or card or something. Um, and the more that they want to impress you, the better your gift will be. Okay. So this is a good time to actually find a guy who is financially stable because a lot of men who are fi financially stable and are single, they start to feel um, the same thing around this time of year, they're gonna be like, you know, I have all this money and nobody to spend it all, nobody to spend it with. You know, um, I don't have anybody to take skiing or to the cabin this weekend and when it snows, you know, whatever. <laughs> um, I don't have anybody to, you know, travel with. I don't have anybody to, um, you know, have holiday cheer with and drink hot chocolate with. And they're just gonna start feeling sad and they're gonna start looking for girls. They're gonna start looking for women who are 
you know, ready to have a relationship, you know, because that's the holidays bring about wanting to be close with someone. Okay. It reminds you of that you have no one. <laughs> So a lot of these guys who are talking all that trash about, I don't need no woman, da, 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 around the holidays, they're going to start talking a different tune and you're not going to see, you know, as much of that. But if you can get you a man or a woman around the holiday season, you'll be doing great. I met my husband around the holiday season, y'all. I sure did. I met him right before either right before Thanksgiving or right after Thanksgiving we met and I did get a Christmas gift that year so uh, and it was jewelry ha <laughs> ha okay so <laughs> I'm telling y'all and where these guys hang out at around the holiday season is where there's lots of festivities so go to bars go to wine bars not not like party bars but like nice places like where they sell food and stuff go to like the bar section of a nice restaurant and you know stuff like that so hang around during the season if you can't alone because a lot of guys don't like to approach a bunch of women okay maybe one friend at the at the most but you know just hang out and you know they'll be thinking oh it's so i'm so lonely it's the holiday season they'll hear the little christmas music they'll start seeing all the christmas decoration and they'll be like oh i want someone to cuddle with and keep me warm and they'll be out on the prowl so this is your chance right now start hanging out you know and especially especially when it starts getting colder yeah it's a really good time to you know find someone so Either you're going to get dumped or you're going to get lucky this season or both because, you know, being dumped and then finding another person that's, you know, decent is always a good thing. Okay. So always, you know, look presentable, like look approachable. Don't sit there, you know, looking sad or with an attitude on your face. You know, look friendly. You know, make it easy for the man to come to you and not be intimidated or afraid of, re you know, rejection. Um, and you have to know, like, this time of year, less broke men are going to approach you because they don't want to have to buy you anything, okay? Less broke men are not going to be out looking for a new girlfriend around the holiday season, okay? So, that's a, that's a bonus, y'all. This is why uh, a lot of uh, this is why a lot of people love fall and winter because it just makes you feel all warm and fuzzy and cozy inside and the guys are feeling that too so it is a good time if you're already in a relationship to take it to the next level um, start hitting around if like if you've been together for a while and you want to get engaged or you want if you're engaged and you know you haven't set a date push to set a date at this like, during this time of the holiday season um, so yeah, if you're all trying to get your man to commit, this is a good time during this season as well. So don't let it go to waste. Y'all use it to your advantage and, you know, make the most of it. And if you're not, if you're, if you're going to be alone this holiday season and you're just like, you know what, I'm trying to get over someone. I don't want to be with anybody this holiday season. Well, the best thing for that are lots of friends being around family movies reading a book just like consume yourself with a lot of activities so you don't even think about it okay find a hobby like start a hobby make your Christmas gifts this year um, like maybe you could do candles or soap making or you know sugar scrubs find like some type of hobby and fixate on that and maybe even start an Etsy shop. It's a good time to start a business because everybody's going to be shopping online for gifts. So if you're not about, you know, finding a relationship right now, you know, start an Etsy store. Make, you know, get a hobby, make some stuff, sell it. People are going to be buying stuff like crazy off of Etsy this year. And, you know, if you want to be a part of that and make money instead of, you know, focusing on, you know, something that you're missing out on or you don't have or trying to get over, you know, your ex. Um, at least money can make it a little bit better if you're earning something that you know off of something a product that you made 
and then by this time next year you know you never know you could you know you could have a lot of people buying from your store you could have you know a product line and you know just go from there so don't get stuck at this season a lot of people get depressed around this time because either they lost a loved one they're you know they got dumped they're alone don't fall into that eat lots of chocolate because you know chocolate makes you feel good eat lots of chocolate caffeine do a hobby get outside go to the moon well i don't say go to the movies with your friend or your family or your sibling um you know decorate that's always fun and keep your mind off of the negative and, and stay on the positive and you never know you know you never know what could happen you can meet someone you could do really good in your business you can start to love a new hobby and just get a new lease on life altogether and you know you know make life what you want it to be okay so i'm gonna leave it at that today and i hope i hope that you know people understand like if they do get dumped, not to take it personally because they were never going to be with you long term anyway. Okay, so don't take that personally. Just get over it quick because they already planned that like long time ago. Um, and I've seen lots of guys troll on YouTube and talk about how they'll only date women during certain months and then when it gets time for the holidays, and they're not really serious about them they will dump them for sure okay so i'm gonna let y'all go and i'll see y'all later okay y'all have a good halloween if i don't make another video by then have a good halloween and be safe all right